welcome back to my channel and happy Pride Month. June is a month where we celebrate the LGBTQIA community, but we need to make sure we're celebrating it all year long as well, and picture books are a great way to do that. So last week I shared with you this day in June as part of my June collection of books. Today I want to focus on all the books that I think would be great to share for Pride Month. Let's go check them out. But first, if you're new here, my name is Sarah and I show up on this YouTube channel every Sunday night with read aloud tips and book ideas that you can use in your classroom that week. If that sounds like something you're interested in, make sure you give this video a thumbs up and then hit that red subscribe button so that you don't miss a video. Okay. Let's dive into the other books that I have to celebrate Pride Month. The first book I have is It Feels Good to Be Yourself. This book is an exploration of gender identity. Some people are boys, some are girls, some are both, some are neither, some are in between. This book breaks down this concept in a sweet but straightforward way for students to understand. The child-friendly language gives kids a better understanding of themselves and of others. It really provides readers and adults the vocabulary to discuss this topic with sensitivity. So It Feels Good to Be Yourself is a great one to jumpstart our books for Pride Month. Next I have I Am Jazz, and this is the true story of Jazz Jennings who is the co-author of this book. She wrote it with the author when she was just 13 years old, and it starts with how she understood at just the age of two that she had a girl brain in a boy body. The doctor then explained that she was transgender. And the book goes on to explain how her family supported her, but she often faced some challenges at school. This real life experience is shared in a simple, clear way for students to understand what it truly feels like to be transgender and how we can help and support those who are. The next book I have is Papa, Daddy, and Riley. At the beginning of this book, all the students are being dropped off for their first day of school. Some are being dropped off by their grandparents that they live with, or their foster parents, or their mom, and Riley is dropped off by her two dads. But then a classmate questions her and says, well, which one is your real dad and where's your mom? And so this causes Riley to become confused. She doesn't want to have to choose between her two dads. That's who's raised her. That is her family. She has a papa. She has a daddy. That's her family. She talks to her two dads about this, and they go on to explain that a family is made up of love, and that she doesn't have to choose between the two of them. They both love her. They're both her dads, and that is what their family is made up of. A gr another great book to share with your students for Pride Month. Next, I have Prince and Knight. This is a modern take on a fairy tale in which the prince's parents are determined to find him a princess to marry. But none of them feel quite right to the prince. One day, dragon threatens the kingdom. The prince runs back and he meets a knight who is saving the kingdom from the dragon. And that's when the prince realizes that his true love is the knight. And the prince's parents are excited that he has finally met the person that he wants to marry and they end the story with a wedding between the two. This one is a sweet story told in rhyming verses that I think will be a great read aloud for your class. The next read aloud book that I have for Pride Month is When Aiden Became a Brother. When Aiden was born, everyone thought that he was a girl. But as he grew up, he realized that he was really a transgender boy. His family was very accepting and gave him the support that he needed. Then one day he learns that his mom is going to have another baby. People start asking Aiden, do you want a baby brother or do you want a baby sister? And he really, he doesn't know. His mom sits down with him and explains that whether it's a boy or a girl, Aiden is going to be an amazing big brother to this new baby. This wonderful Own Voices book is a great story about supportive parents who work with Aiden to express himself fully and work through his natural fears of becoming a big brother to the new baby in the family. Another great read aloud for you to share with your class. The next book that I have to read aloud for Pride Month is Uncle Bobby's Wedding. In this story, Chloe is a young girl and Uncle Bobby is her best friend. But when she finds out that he's getting married, she gets really upset because she thinks everything's gonna change. She has so much fun with him and doesn't want anything to happen to that bond between them. Uncle Bobby reassures her that they will still hang out and have a lot of fun together. And when she meets Jamie, his fiance, she realizes that she loves him just as much and is really excited for this wedding. So one thing I really love about this book 
is that gay marriage is not the central topic of the story. Main issue is Chloe being upset that her uncle's getting married. That gay marriage is just the background and it really normalizes gay marriage for students and they see that this is something that happens that it's not something that's different, that this is everyday life. This book was also originally illustrated. The first version had, I believe, hamsters or guinea pigs as the characters, but I think it's so much more of a powerful message when there are real people illustrated in the book. So I think this is a great one to share with your students for Pride Month. So I hope that you'll be able to share some of these picture books with your students for Pride Month in June. But I also hope that you will include them in your classroom libraries and be reading them aloud throughout the year, not just during this one month. It's important that our students see that the LGBTQIA community is not inappropriate or offensive, that this is part of our community, part of our world. And the more that they see that in books, the more accepting and respectful and understanding they will be. If you have any other favorites that you like to read aloud to celebrate Pride, leave them in the comments below so that we can create a full list of books. I hope that this video was helpful for you. If it was, make sure you give it a thumbs up, hit that red subscribe button, because I will be back next Sunday night with more read aloud tips and book ideas for you to use in the classroom. Have a great week.